I want to show you something very important. Hallelujah. You know, whilst you are standing, we will be lifting a prayer. You know, God bless you. We will be lifting a prayer. You know, Psalm 74. Looking on, on the screen. Psalm 74. Psalm 74. Verse 20. Psalm 74 and the verse 20. Look at what is there. Psalm 74 and the verse 20. It says that this is what the scripture says. Have regard. Now, you give me the, uh, the change the version to KJV. Have respect unto covenant. Somebody say covenant. Talk to me. Say covenant. Have respect unto covenant. For the dark places of the earth are full of evil habitations. The dark places of the earth are full of habitations of cruelty. So have respect for what? Come on, put your hands together for the man of God. Hallelujah. Have respect for covenant. Why? For the dark places of the earth are full of habitation of what? Yeah. Satan and the devil is cruel. Evil is rampant. Have respect for covenant. If you joke with covenant, if you play with covenant, this earth, this plane that we live on, is full of evil. Every important thing of God, as I know, is guarded by a covenant. Anything serious, including your salvation. Your salvation is not just, you know, something that has been done for you. It is a covenant. Every serious thing. Anything in the realm of the spirit, as I know, that is very important, that is serious, is Back by a covenant. Have regard for a covenant. Because we are living in a place. Don't live a covenantless life. Don't live a life that your life, there is no covenant backing you or being a foundation to your end. We are just going up and down. Things are bound by covenant. Hallelujah. One of the reasons for lack of manifestation is satanic covenant. One of the hindrances that stop things from manifesting. Let me tell you, anytime you are praying about anything or you are asking God for anything or you are dealing with a particular area of your life and it is so tough, so difficult, you are not just dealing with a normal thing. You are dealing with something that has a foundation or a background of a covenant. Hallelujah. Every evil covenant that is hindering a manifestation in your life, let it be reversed by the blood of Jesus. The reason for, you see, your Bible, the Bible we use is just divided by covenant. Old covenant and new covenant. Old Testament is actually Old Covenant. New Testament is New Covenant. The Bible itself is all about covenant. God is all about covenant. Everything is about covenant. So in this fasting and prayer, the Lord has spoken to us that at the end of this fasting, we are all bringing a covenant or we are all making a covenant with God. How do you make a covenant with God? Covenant are made on the platform of sacrifice. What makes covenant a sacrifice? Psalm 50 verse 5. Gather together my saints for me. Those who have made a covenant with me by a sacrifice. Covenants are made by sacrifice. There can never be a covenant without a sacrifice. One of the greatest covenant that has been given to us is the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ. Today we want to apply the blood. 
and declare in the name of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus, every evil covenant that is blocking a manifestation, hindering a manifestation, let it be reversed by fire. Let it be reversed by fire. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Let it be reversed by fire by the covenant of the blood. By the covenant of the blood. Lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice in prayer. By the covenant of the blood, lift your voice, clap your hands, lift your voice, clap your hands, lift your voice, clap your hands. Father, 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 by fire, by the blood, Karabada la ba la ba ba la, Resunda la ba la, Rebara la ba la ba, Karaba ba ba ba, Lebranda ya, Karada la ba, Repaya la la ba, Repara la la ba la ba, Lebaria la la ba, Rapaya la la ba, Labrada la ba la ba, Lebranda ya, Karada ya ba, Labara la la ba, Sida la ba la ba, Karada la ba. Sandaya bala, ora baba, iya dola baya, 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 lo pese, lo pese, lo pese, le prende, lo prende, lo prende, ora bere. Every evil covenant, every satanic covenant, reverse by fire, 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 reverse. By fire, La parada la ba 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 Le balada la ba ya ba la ba la ba ya Rosa da ya ba la ba la ba Re ta ya da la ba 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 Re prada ya ba la ba la ba la Re prada la ba la ba la ba la ba ya de Le prada la la ba la ba la ba la ba Le prada la ba 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 Le prada la la ba la ba la ba la ba ba Ele passa da yabalaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Come on. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 Lift up your two hands. Let your glory be upon. All the earth. Are you ready for something powerful? Let your glory be upon all the. Let your glory, Lord. Let your glory be upon all the. Earth. Let your glory be. Lift your hands. Receive this living sacrifice. I am your word. Lord. I said, I said, come on, lift your hands. Sacrifice. I am, I am your worship. Oh, receive, receive this living sacrifice. I am your worship, Lord. Your worship, I say. Father, we are ready for your grace. We are ready to take off. We are ready for impartation. Let your will be done. 
Visit us, O Lord, in your power. Manifest your glory tonight. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody put their hands together for Jesus. Come on, you can do it better. You can do it. Clap it. You are doing it for Jesus. You are doing it for the Lord of Lords. You are doing it for the ancient of days. Clap the hands. And somebody add some noise to it. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of you are expecting a miracle today? Hallelujah. Somebody shout supernatural manifestation. Very soon we are going to hear the voice of a great man of God. Hallelujah. And um, Reverend, we want to say welcome to the Peace Center. Can we put our hands and celebrate? Hallelujah. What a blessing. God richly bless you for bringing you. And this is a right time in our 21 days fasting and prayer. Tonight it is a blessing to have you minister and be a blessing. Hallelujah. And we believe that the Lord has given you a word. And that word is going to bless us. In Jesus mighty name. Church, are you excited? Are you ready? How many of you believe that by the end of 21 days, your miracle is manifesting? Your blessing is manifesting? The Lord will not forget you. The helper shall help you. Your miracle is coming to pass. Shout Jesus! Wow. It's a blessing. Amen. Now, I want you to sit down for just one minute. You'll be rising again as we welcome the man of God. Just let us hear a short um, um, intro um, of the man of God that is ministering tonight. Hallelujah. And after that, the next voice you'll be hearing is the Reverend himself. Amen. God bless you. Senior pastor of the International Dunamis Royal Assembly. A ministry with the vision of revealing the person and ministry of Jesus Christ. The church arm is known as the Dunamis Chapel International with headquarters in Kumasi, Ghana. Dunamis Chapel has six senior pastor of the International Dunamis Royal Assembly, a ministry with a vision of revealing the person and ministry of Jesus Christ. The church arm known as the Dunamis Chapel International with headquarters in Kumasi, Ghana, Dunamis Chapel has six branches, as I was saying there, two campus fellowships and two online churches. Number one, the Dunamis Global UK and also the Dunamis Global USA. The International Royal Dunamis Royal Assembly is also made up of six parachurches. The Dunamis Pastoral Institute, which is one of the parachurches responsible for training pastors and ministry leaders, which is one of the core mandates of Red Enoch Eduse. The ministry has trained, equipped, and ordained 23 pastors, as well as 46 ministers in the ministry to reveal Jesus. Reverend Enoch Eduse is married to Daniela, and together they are blessed with four amazing children. Come on, church, let's rise to our feet. Hallelujah. And with a peace center shout, with a peace center shout, a peace center welcome, let's put our hands together and let's welcome the ministry of Reverend Enoch Edusa from Dynamis International. Man of God, you are welcome to the peace center. Glory to Jesus. Can you do a better one for the Lord Jesus? Can you do a better one for the Lord? Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Appreciating the Lord, lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Give the Lord praise. <laughs> Give the Lord glory. Magnify the name of the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord. Give him praise and give him glory. We worship you, Lord. 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 Lift up your voice and give the Lord praise. Give the 
Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord glory. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify you. We exalt your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. For unto you shall the gathering of the people be. Zangi hatanda bahato sadihash. Receive all your praise. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. Receive all the glory. As a church, we say that glory be to your name. Thank you for calling this solemn assembly. Nima zunganti na mahava dosaya. Tiparanda sanda bahati kachaya. For when the people shall gather there, the Lord commanded his blessing. Anima sanda haya. Even his blessings forever. Father, we thank you that you have gathered us to release your blessing. You have guided us, Lord, to release us unto manifestation. You have guided us, Lord, to empower us, Lord, as we take over the year, Lord. Glory be to your name. We exalt you, Lord. We magnify you. Blessed be your name, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. With your hands lifted, Father, tonight, receive all the praise. Receive all the glory. There is none like you, Lord. You are the Alpha and the, you are the Omega. Thank you for calling us. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for preferring us. And thank you for your favor. To stand before you tonight is an act of your grace and an act of your mercy. We have come here to meet you, Lord. Let the heavens be open over us. Let a new day dawn on us. And release us, Lord, into our season of manifestation. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. And show your power through our lives, Lord. You said that you are looking for a man. Father, we avail ourselves tonight. Release us, Lord. Release us, Lord. As signs and wonders in our families and wherever we are, Lord. May we become a sign and a wonder. You have chosen us in such a time like this to make your name known to the world. Empower us tonight for what you have called us to do this year. As we take over the land, empower us, Lord. Fresh grace, fresh grace, fresh grace. For the little amongst us shall become a thousand. And the few amongst us shall become a great nation. For I, the Lord, will fulfill it in this time. And I stand and I declare, yeah, the time has come. The time has come. The time of manifestation has come. La Viki di Vazu and Abatasha, Liki Fando Zila Bataya Tofa, Mali Kafina Zua Tataya, the season of manifestation. Use us, Lord, in the north, the south, the east, and the west. Use us, Lord. Let your name be glorified and let your name be exalted. Thank you tonight that you are here, that this is your place. Glorify yourself. In the name of Jesus, let somebody shout amen. Glory to Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Please, you may be comfortably seated. What a blessing. I'm blessed to be here tonight. Amen. Can you put your hands together with me for the Lord Jesus, for his grace? Amen. I thank God for this opportunity to be here tonight. And I want us to appreciate the said man of the house, the prophet of God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Prophet, the Lord bless you for this opportunity. And uh, I don't take it for granted. A beautiful thing that the Lord is doing in this place. 
You know, sometimes when the Lord is doing something and you are in it, you don't see. But when you are outside, you have a different view and you appreciate it better. I want you to know that you are in a good place. Uh, you are in a good place. You know, one thing that amazes me is the fact that a person can be so prophetic and yet evangelistic. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to find how it works because most prophetic people are not evangelistic. Most prophetic people, I've met a lot of prophets that are not evangelistic, but to combine the prophetic and the evangelistic is a strange oil. <laughs> it's a strange one. It's a strange one. Last, I hear you are here doing crusade here, winning souls here, moving here. And Friday, she's seen in the spirit. I said, hey. Wow. So, I, mean, I don't know whether he's a prophet or he's an evangelist. <laughs> because both of them seem to be sharp. Maybe if those of you who have been here, you will be able to tell me. After service, come and see me and let me know that is, maybe it's a prophet. Maybe the evangelistic is a secondary or maybe the prophetic is a secondary. But it's, it's an amazing gift. It's an amazing gift. And um, when God gives us such gifts, we, we take good care of them. We preserve them. You know, out there, his kind is rare. People who lead you to pray, and lead you to win souls. One thing that you can stand before God and account for that I did this for the kingdom of God. Encouraging you to win souls, go out there, do something for the Lord. It's, it's an amazing anointing. And I thank God that I'm standing on this altar. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. It's a great blessing. Amen. Can we appreciate the servant of the Lord? The prophet of God, the prophet of God, the prophet of God. Amazing, 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 amazing. I'm thinking that we can all stand and do, give honor to whom honor is due. Let's appreciate the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. You may please be seated. Amen. And all the other pastors and the leaders. The Lord bless you. You are doing a great work. It's a great blessing. Glory to the Lord. Somebody shout amen. amen. Are you ready for the word of God tonight? Are you ready for the word of God tonight? Amen. amen. This evening I'm sharing something on understanding prophetic instructions that leads to supernatural manifestation. Amen. Understanding prophetic instructions that leads to supernatural manifestation. For manifestations to be possible, I believe that one of the components is to be able to know what God is saying and to do what God is saying. To know what God is saying and to do. To hear and to obey. It is not enough to hear God, but we must be ready to obey God. In Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21, the Bible says that then thy ear shall hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk therein. This year, may you know what the Lord wants you to do in Jesus' name. As we go through this fast, may the Lord bring revelation to your life in Jesus' name. Then the voice of the Lord, you hear a voice behind you saying this is the way from today you will never be confused i said from today you will never be confused in the name of jesus what is a what is prophetic instructions number one prophetic instruction is a direction given by the spirit of god prophetic instruction is it's a direction given by the spirit of god to a person or to a group 
that demands the obedience, that demands obedience, is a direction given by the Spirit of God to a person or to a group of people that demands obedience. A direction that is given by God, by the Spirit of God, and we must obey. We must obey. Number two, what is prophetic instruction? Prophetic instruction is a direction given by the Spirit of God to an individual that is intended. An instruction, prophetic instruction is a direction given by the Spirit of the Lord to an individual that is directed to that person and for him. It's directed to that person and for him. Many believers, when we are doing something, we think that it's for the other person. The fasting is for the other person, not me. This, 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 this instruction is for the other person, not me. But prophetic instructions can come for a group and it can come for an individual. Anytime God speaks, the voice of God is supposed to perform. The voice of God performs. The voice of God is always on assignment. When the Lord speaks, there is an intention behind his voice. There's no way God will speak and then he just speaks like that. Whenever God says something, he wants to do something. Whenever God speaks, he wants to manifest. Whenever God speaks, he wants to show himself. Whenever God speaks, he wants to prove to hell that he exists. And God will need your life to show to the devil that there is a God. And one way God can prove himself through you is by giving you instructions and your part is to obey that instruction. Your ability to obey instruction is aligning yourself with God for the blessings and the manifestations of God to find expression in your life. Today, receive this grace in Jesus' name. Now, what are the channels of prophetic instructions? Number one. You can receive that prophetic instruction directly by the Spirit of God that is within you. Directly by the Spirit of the Lord that is within you. That is also called the Spirit's inner voice. There's, there's, a, there's a voice of God that is in you that, makes, that perceives the voice of God. The voice of the Spirit that is in you. In Job chapter 32 verse 8, there is a spirit in man. And by the inspiration of the Almighty, given him understanding. There's a spirit in man. There's a spirit in you. By the inspiration of the Almighty, you receive understanding. As we are fasting and we are praying, one of the things that is happening is that your spirit man is receiving understanding. As we come here, we are receiving the word of the Lord. Your spirit man is receiving understanding. And God, through his word, through his spirit, begins to minister to you. And that word begins to lift you to the place God has ordained for you. Somebody shout amen. And tonight is not an exception. A word of God is coming to you as the word of God is coming. It is coming to change you and shift you to a different level in Jesus' name. A different glory, a different level of manifestation. Somebody shout amen. amen. So there's a spirit in you that must come alive in order to be receptive to the voice of God. One way, one other way is by the rhema, through the word of God. As the word of God is coming, just one verse will hit you. And you know that, no, God is speaking to me through his word. We call it the sure word of prophecy. That is the word that cannot fail. That is the word of God. And the spirit entered me as he spake unto me. And he set me upon my feet. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. The spirit entered me as he spake unto me. As we fast and we receive the word of the Lord. As the word of the Lord comes, the spirit also enters. Tonight the spirit is entering somebody's spirit. Tonight the spirit is entering your spirit. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. 
the spirit entered me as he spake unto me and he set me on my feet from today you are rising up on your feet anybody that is down in any area of your life i came here to declare you are coming up again you are rising up again. Your marriage is rising up again. Your spiritual fire and intensity is rising up again. Somebody shout amen. In Acts chapter 30 verse 44, the Bible says, And as it came to pass, as Peter spake unto them, the spirit of the Lord fell on them. Today, that same spirit is here. The Holy Spirit, our great help, is falling upon you in Jesus' name. It is coming upon you afresh in the name of the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord carries power. The word of the Lord carries life. Sometimes you might just be here. You, it is, it's better to leave your house and come here and even sleep. It is better. I'm not saying come here and sleep, but I'm saying that it is better. At least the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Sometimes demonic spirits don't need permission to enter people. The Holy Spirit sometimes does not need permission to enter you. Once you are in this atmosphere, something is happening to your spirit. Something is happening to your spirit. We are beholding us in the mirror like the glory of the Lord. We are changed from glory to glory. Something is changing in your life. Something is changing around you. Listen, after these 21 days, people will ask you, where did you go to? What have you encountered? Something has changed about you. Something is happening. Something will happen to you. Somebody shout amen. I said shout amen. I said shout amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Glory to God. Number two, channels of prophetic instructions. Number two, through visions and dreams. In this period of fasting, the Lord is going to open our eyes. You are going to be seeing visions and dreams. When you are fasting, you must be anxious to hear from God. God speaks to us in visions and dreams. Throughout scripture, it is evident in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions. And old men shall see dreams. It is going to happen in our lives. And as it is happening, it's going to be, it's going to be a different manifestation. So as we are waiting on God, one way God brings direction is through dreams and visions. From today, may your dreams be anointed. Any caricature dream that has been happening to you is cancelled in Jesus' name. Any dream with no meaning, no tell, no end. From today, receive precision in Jesus' name. Receive precision in the name of Jesus. You will wake up from your sleep and you will know that indeed you have met God. May that be your testimony in Jesus' name. Be ready for it. Be ready for it. Be ready for it. As we wait on God. Number three. The third channel of prophetic instruction is through vessels that are determined by God. Through vessels. One of the ways God speaks to us is through anointed mouthpiece of God. And I thank God that this church we are blessed with one. one. That is one of the ways God speaks. Through anointed mouthpiece, anointed vessels. I seem to have a problem with a lot of Christians. Occultists and voodoo people don't take their altars and their priests for granted. When the year was starting 31st, we were in church praying, somebody was soaking himself in demonic, demonic oil. He started 27th to cross the year with it. And he stepped into the year cooked by a demonic altar. These are the people we are sitting in the same classroom. These are people we are sitting in the same office with. Listen to me. 
Understand this. There's a level in life that if you want to cross, a spirit must back you. If you want to be ordinary, you need nothing. To be ordinary, you, you need nothing. But at a certain level in life, a spirit must back you. If you want to go far, you need the backing of a spirit. Listen to me. They will not tell you, but the people in authority, there are things backing them. But when you are coming to church, they will tell you this thing is too much. They know what you can get by your association with God. And so, midnight, when you are sleeping, they are chanting. When you are sleeping, they are calling on their God. And they are just there trying to tell you, don't go to church, it's too much. Why are you that serious? No, they want to dominate over you. They know that once you get close to God, you begin to dominate. From today, you will dominate in Jesus' name. From today, you will dominate in the name of Jesus. That a spirit will be connected to you at a certain level of manifestation. And you see, that spirit will demand sacrifice. And you must be willing to, to, to service that altar. There are people, when they are going somewhere, and their priest, voodoo priest, calls them, don't go. No question. No. Stop. Christians, why? Can you give me two reasons why I should not go? I should go. Can't you do anything about it? I mean, I mean Christians, you see, Whatever is true of the demonic is true of the divine. If there is no fake, then there is no true. I don't know how many of you have seen a seven dollar, uh, a seven pound uh, cash before. Have you seen some before? No. Have you seen some before? No. There's no false. There's no fake. Why? Because there's no real. If there is real, then there is fake. If there is fake, then there is real. The devil copies from God. If there are altars and if there are priests, then in the house of God there are altars and there are priests. And the priests are the mouthpiece of the altars. And when they speak, the force of the altars back it. God brings into your life a priest that becomes a voice. And when they speak, the force of the altar backs the voice. To move into your season of manifestation, God will speak through a priest and tell you this is the season and this is the time. And you must believe it with your heart. You must believe it. Don't be, listen, all the people in authority, something is backing them. Oh, no. Why? I know a president. Wherever he's going to, his chair is following him. Yeah, I know. Oh, yes. Why? Some, I don't know whether it's divine or demonic, but somebody has told him that, listen, once you are on this throne, carry your chair. Carry your chair. Wherever he's going, the chair is in one car. He's also in another car. Oh, yes. Carry your chair. He has heard a voice, and that voice said, carry your chair. He doesn't care what you say, what you think. He's thinking about his life, and the priest that has spoken to him, and he's ready to obey his priest. Receive the grace to obey your priest in Jesus' name. Receive the grace to obey your priest in the name of Jesus. Christians must be able to come to that point where they believe that this is the oracle of God. The money people believe in their oracles. When they speak, they shake. Bring a hand. White, no spot. You, you will go look for it. You will go, you come back in. He says, no, but can't you change it? Before you enter, they have told you that when he says anything, just say yes. If you still come, it's through the prophet of God, the servant of the Lord. That is when instructions will come. So maybe in the, during this fast, there's an instruction that has come. You must believe it. You must believe it. Be like the president carrying his chair. Believe it that this is the word of the Lord and it must find fulfillment in my life. By the end of this fast, something must happen. Something must change. Something must come to pass. Something must be broken. 
Somebody say something, something, something must happen. Believe in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. Somebody shout amen. I said shout amen. Now scriptural examples of how prophetic instructions led to supernatural manifestation. Scriptural examples of how prophetic instructions led to supernatural manifestation. Number one, Abraham. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 2, we see the story of Abraham. And the Lord said to Abraham, go to, from your country and from your people, from your father's house to a land that I will show you. Abraham received a voice from the Lord, a direction from the Lord. He obeyed it. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 1, he received a direction from the Lord, and he obeyed it. In Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 and 2, he received a direction from the Lord, and he obeyed it. He became great. By obeying the prophetic instructions, Abraham went into, entered into the realm of greatness. His destiny manifested as he, as he obeyed the voice of the Lord. No compromise on God's voice. No compromise on prophetic instructions. From today, may you not compromise on prophetic instructions. Your deliverance is in one word. Your deliverance can be in just one word. By you receiving that one word, that will be the end of every hindrance in your life. One word. One word. So we must learn to obey and to receive the prophetic instructions. Number two, Moses. In Exodus chapter 9 verse 1, God came to Moses. He said, I've heard the cry of my people by reason of their tax masters. Rise up, I will send you, go and deliver them from Pharaoh. Moses obeyed that prophetic instruction and went. And in Numbers chapter 12 verse 8, Moses was known as the great prophet of God. He says, other prophets, I speak to them in dreams and in visions. But my servant Moses, I speak to him face to face. When God needed somebody to compare to Jesus Christ, he said that I'll bring you my, my son, who is like Moses. He obeyed prophetic instructions, he became a great prophet. By obedience, something is born in your spirit. By obedience, something comes up in your spirit. Receive the grace to obey the voice of God in Jesus' name. That grace. Number three, Joseph. Joseph obeyed the voice of God. In Matthew chapter 2 verse 13, the voice of the Lord came to Joseph and said, carry the, your son and run away because somebody wants to kill him. He, he heeded to the voice of God. He took Jesus. He ran with him. Later on, Jesus saved the world. Instructions makes you great. Now, when you preach about Jesus by one or the other, you mention Joseph. He might be, he might not be his biological father, but he played a voice in his existence. Prophetic instructions will bring deliverance to your children. Can I tell you something? One obedience at a certain level in your life can set your family on the path. That no demon can change. One obedience. Was it no obedience from Abraham? God said, whoever blesses you, I will bless. Whoever curses you, I will curse. Otherwise, what will be called the seed of Abraham? He believed in God and it was counted to him as righteousness. A friend of God. Obedience paved a way for his descendants. As we are waiting on God and as we follow instructions, may our obedience pave a way for our children. May our obedience pave a way to our fourth generation. Somebody shout amen. Joseph, obey the voice of the Lord. Number four. Ananias. Acts chapter 9 verse 11. Ananias was the one who received the word that go and pray for Paul. He's praying for three days. His eyes are closed. He can't see. He obeyed that word of God. And he did it. No matter how short or insignificant the instruction is, 
there is power in every instruction to bring a change. No matter how insignificant the instruction is, if you will obey, you will see a change. It can be as simple as, I mean, one day we were in a service and somebody was else was preaching. I mean, you see, when somebody is preaching and if you don't take care, you are the senior pastor, you can sit down and cross your leg. No, because the revelation you know. So when the person was preaching, I was writing that. He gave a revelation. I heard it. I heard the Lord say, stand up. I started bargaining with the voice. I, 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 if I stand up, you see, I'll block those who are at the back. If I stand up, it's uncomfortable. I mean, uh, I wasn't saying uh, it was in my head. Silently. I didn't want to say it, but it was coming. By the time I could give the second excuse, another lady who was also a pastor sitting on the other side stood up and lifted the hands. Immediately, the Lord said, Turn and look. She has collected what is yours. God, it was a season of a release of a prophetic grace. I, just, I, mean, I was praying to God for something. Just standing up to receive it, I was giving excuses. Somebody took it. Somebody took it. And you see, the voice of the Lord comes in seasons. Comes since if you miss it, sometimes it can take a long while. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Was it not Rehan Bonky I heard? When the Lord came to him, was, was calling him into evangelism, he started giving excuses. God said, look, no, listen. You are the 40th or so person I have gone to. The moment you reject it, I go to the next person. Easy. Everybody say easy. easy. You see, for God, his purposes must be accomplished. But the vessels can, be, can change. If you are not willing, somebody is willing. What is coming on you, what you are receiving that you are just doing to know, somebody is praying for it. Somebody is praying for it. So just standing up was an usher into a new realm. Just standing up. May the Lord help us to obey in Jesus' name. Obey instructions in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout amen. I said shout amen. Lift up your hands. Say father. In the name of Jesus, from tonight, the grace to obey prophetic instructions be released upon me in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord will help us. Number five, the master Jesus. At the Mount of Transfiguration, Moses and Elijah appeared to Jesus. And they instructed him in Matthew chapter 17, verse 3. Maybe they were, in fact, they were instructing him about his death and what was going to happen. But in essence, they were giving him directions. He received the directions. And in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, taught it not robbery to be equal with God. But being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient, even obedient unto death. Wherefore God has also highly exalted him. By his obedience, God exalted him. By his obedience, God exalted him. When, when, when Jesus, as Jesus obeyed, God exalted him and gave him a name that is above every other name. That to tomorrow, by the mention of Jesus, Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. What caused that? Hearing direction and obeying the voice of God. He said, behold, I come. It is written of me in the volume of the book. To do thy will, O God. There is a will of God for us in this season. And we must be able to align ourselves to those prophetic instructions. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can hear God, you'll be envied when others are pitied. If you can hear from God, if you can receive the instructions that come from this altar, you'll be an envy of your world. 
In Genesis chapter 26, verse 14, the Bible talks about Isaac. He had a great stall of sheep, of heads. He had a great stall of silver and gold. And the Philistines envied him. At the instance of prophetic declarations and instructions, he became an envy. What God intends for you to do is that at your manifestation, you become an envy. Your children will become an envy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Your descendants will become an envy. You shall become an envy in the name of Jesus. As simple as fast. You can trade, you can trade the 50 years of your generation by just one muscle of meat. The greatness of your generation lies maybe, according to the purpose of God, lies in the fast. God has put the demand and it has been declared. You must believe it. And you see, there, that is why the devil will try to stop you. The devil knows what is, what is there in the prophetic instruction. That if you will obey, something will happen to you. Something will happen to your children. I pray that an altar, as we fast, an altar will be lifted for our children in the name of Jesus. An altar will be lifted for our grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen. We don't achieve motion by situations. We achieve motions by revelations. You don't take a step because you feel like. You take a step because he wants you to. And from today, you will not be doing guesswork in Jesus' name. I said you will not be doing guesswork in the name of Jesus. It is very critical. Please understand this. It is very critical that you operate with light. And if you operate with light, you will not miss your height. As you operate with light, you go up. As you operate with revelation, you go up. You are going up in the name of Jesus. As the word of God is coming, you are going up. As prophetic instructions are coming from the altar, you are going up. Somebody shout, I am going up. Somebody shout, I am going up. Hallelujah. What does it take to receive a prophetic instruction from God? What does it take to receive a prophetic instruction from God? Number one, be his sheep. John chapter 10 and verse 27. John chapter 10 and verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. If you want to be able to receive prophetic instructions, you must be born again. The sheep of God hear his voice. Romans chapter 8 verse 14. As many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. So, true sons hear his voice. Be genuinely born again and it's a privilege of the sheep to hear the voice of the master. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Number two. As for number one, I know that most of us are privileged to be there. Number two. Be desperate for his voice. When we come for services, be, de be desperate for his voice. When, 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 as we are fasting, be desperate for his voice. You must be eager to hear from God. Be desperate. In Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1, I will stand upon my watch. And I will stand upon my tower. And I will watch to see what he shall say unto me. Many people fast and they are not expecting anything. We just go through the fast as a fast. I mean... They say we should fast. No, let's do it. And sometimes before we even start the fast, some of us have broken the fast. We break it before we start it. Before it is said, we have compounded the breakfast, lunch, and supper together. Once we finish praying, we will see, we will see. God is a God that demands sacrifice. One of the sacrifices he demands from us is a sacrifice of letting go our appetite. The things you long for. I know you don't joke with your breakfast. It is true. 
But there are seasons God calls us. And you must be willing to pay the price. It doesn't come easy. Jesus, look for one, was led by the spirit into the wilderness. He was led. So God will lead you to a period of trial. A period of separation. And for us as a church, this is our period of separation. Uh, we will not be surprised that some people have, have, have not been fasting. <laughs> have not been fasting. And yet when we meet people, I, I hope the fast is going well. I hope you are fasting. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can smell onion from his mouth. And he's saying, I hope you are fasting. <laughs> yes, I mean, one day we were fasting in church. When we met in church to pray, one pastor came to greet me. And what, when he greeted me, I don't know whether God amplified the scent. But I had onion and pepper. Onion and pepper. So after service, I called him. I said, you have eaten. He said, oh, Robert, you have, ca you have caught me. I said, I didn't catch you. It was the scent. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a price to pay. It is not easy. And you see, and you see, when you are not fasting, your stomach is friendly. You see, it's, it's like when you put fasting on the day, it's a different thing. You can wake up on a normal day and you are fine. You can go at 12 o'clock, you are fine, you are okay. But when you say fasting... Fasting, that word fasting. <laughs> then you I mean, by 7 a.m., something begins to shake. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why it is a sacrifice. You don't want to do it. The good I want to do, I do not. The evil I do not, that is what I do. Now it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the bondage of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ. I pray that Jesus will strengthen us in the name of Jesus. May he strengthen us in the name of Jesus. May he strengthen us in the name of Jesus. You know why? Because whenever a prophetic instruction is released, forces of darkness are alert. And the forces of the divine are also alert. Because a prophetic instruction carries in itself life. Anytime an instruction comes, it is coming with life. And the devil will do everything for you to miss that instruction. He will do everything to miss that instruction. That desire of your heart, it is locked up in 21 days fast. And the time is so close for its manifestation that the devil is so wild that you will miss these 21 days. You will be surprised that the reason why God called for this fast and has been calling for other fasts and prayers is one person. You will be surprised. God will go to every extent to get that one. Lift up and say, I am the one. <laughs> Lift up and say, I am the one. Look at the person sitting by you. He said, tell the person, I am the one. I know you are jealous, but I am the one. Tell the person, I am the one. I am the one. I am the one. I am the reason God called for the fast. I am the reason God brings instructions. I am the one. Somebody shout, I am the one. And so, be committed and then be conscious. Be desperate to hear from God. You sleep in expectation, you rise up with your miracle. As you are sleeping, you are believing God. God will reveal something to you. As you are coming to church, you, you believe God. God, today let your servant speak to me. Believe God. Believe God to receive an instruction. It comes by desperation. It comes by desperation. It comes by desperation. God had rejected Eli, but, but the consecration and the prayer of Hannah 
Move the prophetic abilities in Eli. He just spoke a word. A year by this time. And it came to pass. Desperation. The woman with the issue of blood. Desperation. Everybody was booting her around. She was desperate. Something must happen. Your problem is persisting because you are not desperate enough. Your issue is persisting because you are not desperate enough. If you are desperate, this is your season. If you are desperate, this is your day. This is your year. This is your year. Somebody shout amen. Be desperate enough to receive from God. Be desperate enough. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I said the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Number three. What does it take to hear or receive an instruction from God? Number three, be connected to the Spirit. Be connected to the Spirit. Create an atmosphere of the Spirit of God. Create an atmosphere of divine ambience. Create an atmosphere of the presence of the Lord and live in it. Nature abhors vacuum. In the same way, spirits abhor vacuums. In every particular atmosphere, a spirit is present. If you want to be somebody who receives instructions, create an atmosphere for the spirit of God. Don't ever leave your house like that. Don't ever leave your room like that. As you are sleeping, something is playing. As you are driving, something is playing. Praying always with all kinds of prayer. Say with melodies in your heart. Listen to me. As you are in the washroom, let the song play. Let it play. If you can pray in tongues alongside, just pray. God speaks. God speaks. God is still speaking. God is still speaking. Create an atmosphere for God's presence. As you are sleeping, listen to sermon. Let the sermon of this church play as you are sleeping. Let it play. Now, you see, there is a realm even in your sleep that you are deeply asleep, but you can hear the sermon playing. Because it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. That is why you must get the sermons of this house and play it when you are sleeping. Play it in your car. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. There are times that you don't have anything doing on Saturday. Take two hours every week and create an atmosphere of, for the presence of God. Be in that room alone. Tell your children, give me two hours. And you are there. Sing worship. Sing praises. Pray in tongues. Read your Bible. What are you doing? We call it practicing the presence of God. Practicing the presence of God. You are in that atmosphere. Listen to me. The closer you are to God, the more clearer you hear his voice. As you get closer to God, his voice becomes prominent. There are so many distractions in this world. So many things speaking to us. So many things infiltrating our heart. If you don't get time to soak and get deeper, the voice of the Lord will always seem far. Have you heard Christians say, I heard something talk to me? Something said to me I shouldn't go. Something said to me I should wait. Something said to me I should, I should say no to the proposal. So, what is that something? The more you get close, it gets to a time. Listen to me. Nobody teaches your daughter, this is mommy's voice. They know mommy's voice. They know daddy's voice. When daddy hides and calls, they will know that daddy is the one calling. It is inbuilt. The ability to recognize the voice of God is inbuilt. As you spend time, that thing comes alive. One day, suddenly you hear, you say that, I heard God. Have you heard somebody say that, if I be a prophet of God? I mean, so you might think that it's, it, is, it is pride. They know what they are talking about. They know, they have come to the point where they know that this thing is the voice of God. And it comes by fellowship and relationship. Receive that grace to stay in the presence of God. Receive that grace to stay in the presence of God. Pray in tongues. Sing songs. Listen to messages. One hour, two hours. 
Do it consistently. Because in the, in the realm of the spirit, consistency is what brings results. Can I tell you something? One of the things you must understand is that there is a law of attraction. The law of attraction in the spirit says that when you do things consistently, you attract the spirits that empower the manifestation. For example, when somebody starts as a smoker and he, he smokes one stick, it's normal, he can stop easily. But as he does it continuously, it gets to a point, a spirit comes to attach itself. So now it is no longer, it's, it, it, it's not about him. Something is pushing him. When we were in the university, there was a lecturer like that. The guy can smoke. He will, he will preach for 30 minutes and will go and smoke for five minutes and come back. I mean, it, it is part of him. At that level, you know that it is, it is not normal. When you start praying, at the start, it is not easy. But when you continuously do it, a spirit is attached. The Holy Spirit comes and begins to take over. And so consistency in the spirit is what brings results. From today, receive the grace for consistency in Jesus' name. Receive the grace for consistency in the name of Jesus. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The word of God is what sieves the voices that comes to you. If you fill yourself with the word of God, you will be able to sieve off the ones that are not truly the word of God. Somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Soak yourself into the word of God. When the word of God is coming, it's not the time to sleep. It is the time to be awake. And receive the spirit that is coming from the word. Receive the light that is coming from the word. Receive the inspiration that is coming from the word. As the word of God is coming. And it's living inside you. When a voice comes, that word rejects it. Because the word of the Lord will truly receive whatever is from the spirit of God. If you want to stop saying, I didn't know it was not God. Then soak yourself in the word of God. As you become full of the word of God, the voice of God is distinguished in your life. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, be committed to doing what is written while seeking what he's saying. Be committed to doing what is written while seeking what he is saying. Be committed. Many people are asking God, what should I do? What way must I go? Most of the time, as you are waiting to hear God's voice, the answer is already in the scripture. As you are waiting for the, the voice of the Lord to you personally, there is something in the scripture for you. You shall serve the Lord thy God, and he shall bless. If you want blessing, one of the things is to serve. So there are things in the Bible that qualifies us from certain automatic blessings. As you are waiting for his voice, do what he has said. Receive that grace to obey God's voice in Jesus' name. Number four, number three, be patient in the process of learning and knowing his voice. There are people who have heard God's voice and uh, they made a mistake and from that day, they can't trust God's voice again. You are not the first person to make a mistake. So called him, he didn't hear God's voice. He didn't know it was God. Somebody had to direct him. Eli had to direct him. When God sent him to the house of David, he chose the wrong person, Eliab. He said that this is the, this is the Lord's anointed. God said that it's not true. Somewhat the prophet missed it. God said it was not true. As you are growing in hearing the voice of God for yourself and receiving instructions from God, there are times that you might think that you have made a mistake, but continue believing in God. It only shows you are human and God is dealing with you and God is working on you. May you receive the grace to hear from God in the name of Jesus. Receive the grace to hear from God in the name of Jesus. Prophetic instructions brings us into our realm 
of supernatural manifestation. As you are listening to me tonight, we are gathered here because of an instruction. And if God gathered us here because of an instruction, then there is a reason for that gathering. Whatever reason why God gathered us and called for this solemn assembly, I declare based on the grace of God on this place that it shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. It shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. It shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Let me close with this. What is the necessity of the prophetic instructions? What are the importance? Number one, if you receive prophetic instructions, you avoid traps and snares of distraction. You are exempted from distraction. Number two, you avoid running life in the wrong direction. If you want to run life in the right direction, receive instruction. Number three, you avoid pouring energy and effort in the wrong direction. You can pour energy in the wrong direction till you realize, and know it is the wrong way to go. But from today, that will not be your testimony in Jesus' name. To, inv to avoid investing resources in wrong endeavors. Instructions can come and then it will pr bring you preservation of your resources. Many people enter into deals, into contrasts that end them ill and evil. Why? Because there was no instruction. But from today, as you obey and are instructed by God, the Lord is leading you in Jesus' name. I said the Lord is leading you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands with me. And I want you to pray that Holy Spirit, help me. Give me a hearing ear and an obedient heart. Give me a hearing ear and an obedient heart. If you can be on your feet, please be on your feet now. Give me a hearing ear and an obedient heart. Lift up your hands. We want to pray for some few minutes as we close. Listen. One of the greatest blessings you can have is to receive the ability to hear from God and the grace to obey that voice that comes to you. Your prayer is that Father in Jesus' name from tonight a hearing ear and an obedient heart let it come upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray now. A hearing ear and an obedient heart. A hearing ear and an obedient heart. A hearing ear and an obedient heart. Shata tapa tapa. Kapato patapa. Rapato kapariya tapa. Mato pariba papa. Kapara baha. Rapato papariya. Rapata pariya tapa. Rapara batapa. Rapata para. Rapata pa. Ra kaparaba, a shatoraba, a hearing ear, a hearing ear, a hearing ear, an opinion, a hearing ear, a shadaba, rapadaba, 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 Rapala, 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 in the name of Jesus. In Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 14. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 14. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 14. You will be blessed more than any other people. Amen. None of your men or women will be childless. 
nor will any of your livestock be without young. Amen. From today, the yoke of barrenness is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. The yoke of barrenness in every area is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say after me, Father. Father. Say after me, Father. Father. I, receive I receive the blessing, the blessing of, fruitfulness. of fruitfulness. I receive, I receive the, blessing the blessing of fruitfulness. Of fruitfulness. I, reject. I, reject. I reject. I reject the plague, the plague of, barrenness. of barrenness this year. This year. In, the in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Yeah, I receive the blessing of of fruitfulness, I receive the blessing of fruitfulness. Rapadaba, Kapadaba, Rapadaba, Shapadaba, Rapadaba, Kapadaba, Shapadaba, Rapadaba, Rapadaba. I receive the blessing of fruitfulness. I reject the plague. Rapa, 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 Rapala, <laughs> Rapalaba, 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 Kapalaba, Ashadaba, Kapalaba, I receive the blessing of fruitfulness and the blessing of Kapalaba, 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 Rapalaba, <laughs> Rapada, Shapada, Rapada, 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. we reject the plague of barrenness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spiritual barrenness is arrested in Jesus' name. Amen. Financial barrenness is arrested in the name of Jesus. Amen. Barrenness in every area. Jesus. We arrest you now in Jesus' name. Amen. We arrest you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. In Luke chapter 5 verse 4 to 5. In Luke chapter 5, verse 4 to 5. Don't get tired, we are still praying. Some few minutes. Luke chapter 5, verse 4 to 5. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down the nets for a catch. Verse 5. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down my net. Amen. We all know what happened. Yes. A drought came. They caught so much fish, their nets began to break. It is not about how hard you work, 
but something that is back in your hard work. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, Father in, the in the name of Jesus, let your anointing, let your anointing come, upon come upon my efforts unto explosive manifestation. Unto explosive manifestation. Let your anointing let your come anointing upon whatever I do whatever unto I do. explosive manifestation. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Let the anointed, let the effort, let the anointed come upon your ministerial effort. Let the anointed come upon your business. Let the anointed come upon your career. Rapataya, 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 Rapataya,
overtake, 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 Ya dalala 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 ayo Ayo, ayo, Azoria, Mapelia, Raterima, Rapalaba. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. I don't know the area of your life. It seems things have delayed. But listen, let us pray this prayer again because of what I saw. I saw seven trumpets that were being blown. And the Lord said, that it is seven people, it is your season of manifestation. The Lord, the Lord Himself is announcing you. The Lord Himself is announcing you. Amen. Now you want to clap your hands and pray. Jesus. Father, the anointing for speed. Yes, the Lord. anointing for speed. Jesus. That grace is coming yes, upon seven people. Yes, that grace is coming Jesus. upon seven Get people. Power. The anointing Get for speed. Kapadaba, Rapadaba, Shapadaba, Rapadaba, 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 Speed in ministry, speed in marriage, speed in my career, speed Lord, speed Lord, speed Lord, speed Lord, speed Lord, speed Lord, Ayada, 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 something is happening, something is happening. Something is happening. The sound of the trumpet. The chauffeur. The sound of the chauffeur. The sound of the chauffeur. Ratariaria. Rabadabaria. Rabadoborobo. Rabadabadabi. Ratariaria. Rabadaba. Rabadaba. Rabada. Rabadaba. Kapadaba. Rabadaba. 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 Rapadaba Dabasa, Rapadaba, 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 Speed, 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 Rapaya, Rapataya, 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 in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. It is happening already. Yes. It is happening already. Yes, Lord. The sound of the sofa. Jesus. It is happening already. Amen. A great release. Jesus. And the Lord said, I release upon you Prophesy. supernatural speed unto it. manifestation. It has delayed. Jesus. But this is the time. Yes, Lord. But this is the time. Yes, Lord. I saw seven, seven of yes, them. Yes, I saw seven of them. Prophesy. Let it come afresh on you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Now listen. Two more prayers and we close. I want you to be serious. In Ezekiel 21 verse 14. I want to show you one, one thing that we do in church. That I believe that we should do with understanding. Amen. And do it more fiercely. Ezekiel 21 and verse 14. Ezekiel 21. 21. That is 22. We want 21. So then, son of man, prophesy and strike your hands together. 
Let the sword strike twice. Amen. Even three times. Amen. It is a sword for slaughter. Jesus. A sword for great slaughter. Closing in on them on every side. Amen. Lift up your hands. This is, you see, he said prophesy and clap your hands. So you are going to pray and declare and clap your hands. Jesus. Are you listening to me? Yes. There are people that when they are around you, you cannot manifest. Yes. There are people that are, are, are blocking your blessing and your manifestation. Jesus. Your prayer is that, Father, as I clap and pray, anybody planted around my life that is blocking my manifestation, as I clap and pray, oh, yes. may they be uprooted. May they be uprooted. May they be uprooted. Clap your hands and pray. Shadalaba, Rapatapa, 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 Rapa, Yatara, Rataya, Rataya, Rata, Rata, Rataya, 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 anybody around my life, around my territory, blocking my blessing, blocking my breakthrough, blocking my manifestation, Rapatapa, Kapatapa. Somebody pray around your house, around your children, around your business, around your family. Anyone that has been planted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree them uprooted in Jesus' name. Amen. Uprooted in Jesus' name. Amen. Uprooted in Jesus' name. Amen. Whoever is standing against your manifestation, Jesus. may they be uprooted now. Jesus. Uprooted now. Amen. Uprooted now. Jesus. Uprooted now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Last two and we are done. Ezekiel 21 verse 27. I like this scripture. Listen. Ezekiel 21 27. I will overturn overturn Jesus. and overturn it. Yes, Ezekiel Lord. 21 verse 27. I will overturn yes, overturn, overturn and it shall be no more. Amen. I will overturn overturn and overturn and it shall be no, no more. more. Lift up your hands. Every demonic declaration yes, Lord. against your manifestation yes, Lord. let it be overturned. Amen. And let what God has said be fulfilled. Yes, Lord. Two prayers in one. Yes. Every demonic de expectation. Jesus. Listen. Every demonic expectation Jesus. against your life. Uh -huh. Every demonic expectation mm. against your life. Jesus. Let it overturn. Amen. Unto, let it overturn into a blessing for you. Amen. Whatever they have wished for you, Jesus. whatever they are trying to stop, Jesus. may it be enforced in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. As, I pray, as I clap and pray, every demonic purpose every demonic be overturned and let your counsel, let your counsel be, established be established in my life, in my, life, in my, family, in my family, in my ministry, in my ministry 
in my career, in my marriage, I overturn, I overturn. Clap and pray, clap and pray. I overturn. Kapala ba, kapala ba, kapala ba, kapala ba, kapala ba, kapala ba, kapala in the name of Jesus lift up your hands it is over 10 in Jesus name I receive it. the counsel of the Lord will be fulfilled in your life I receive it. the purpose of God will be fulfilled in your life Amen. now the grace for manifestation oh, yes. the grace for manifestation yes, let it rest on you in Jesus name by the apostolic mantle that operates in this ministry yes, I stand on this altar and I declare yes, your season of manifestation has come yes, your season of manifestation has come yes, your season of manifestation has come yes, that's here the Lord you will manifest all around Amen. spiritual manifestation yes, spiritual manifestation yes, a manifestation in authority, oh, yes. manifestation in power, oh, yes. manifestation in your family, yes. manifestation in your career. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. in the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. Yes, Lord. So shall it be. Yes, Lord. So shall it be. Yes, so shall it be. Yes, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, it shall be so. Yes, Lord. In the name of the Father, yes, Lord. and of the Son, yes, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And bless Thank the name you. of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. Be in the Spirit. Clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. If you have been blessed, clap your hands. Shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah. Who is among those seven people that the trumpet sounded for you? By the word of the prophet, he said, the Lord is announcing you. Amen. Who is that seven? Who is among those seven people that the Lord is announcing you from today? Jesus. The Lord has announced you from today. And if the Lord announced you, your manifestation happened. Amen. Your manifestation happened. Amen. Your manifestation happened. Amen. Somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it. Somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it. Somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it. Wow, what a blessing. Clap your hands for the man of God. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Wow. Wow. How many of you feel blessed tonight? How many of you feel that God has visited you tonight? What a blessing. What a blessing. Clap your hands and let's celebrate the oil of God. Thank come on. You, come on. Come on. Come on. Man of God, God bless you so much. The words were powerful. I can't imagine how you can, within a short time, you can deliver say, like a full one-month sermon. It's a fool. It's like everything. You've given the word too much. Wow. Come on, clap your hands and let's appreciate. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you are feeling the prayer? The presence is here. Yes. Yeah, you carry a particular grace with you. And we thank God for bringing you to bless us tonight. Hallelujah. Clap your hands once again and let's celebrate the Lord. Listen, God does things in a mysterious way. You know, when I was in university, I was doing some campus ministry and some prayers. And I was still, you know, associate pastor in our church and doing it. And there was um, a particular, um, you know, um, student in the campus who was attracted or I was with them praying and praying for them and all that. And um, before I left campus, you know, they were also, I didn't do, know at that time that they were in your ministry. Uh, they have become pastors and all that. That is uh, Reverend Patrick, you know. And um, 
when I was leaving campus, my younger brother, I, was, I left, and then I think two, three years or whatever, I don't remember how many years after, I have left. And my brother was going to the same university. So I handed my brother to that pastor or that gentleman who has become pastor in his church. So I handed my brother to him and said, take care of him for me. I'm no more there and he's going to the same university. So help him and take care of us. He's, he's on campus. And then he took him to church. I didn't know that that was your church. You know, and later my brother be have become a pastor in his church. Amen. He raised my brother. Taught my, as I'm here raising pastors and raising leaders, somebody is also raising my brother. Amen. You understand? And that is this great man of God standing here. Will you celebrate? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, the kind of person you have turned him to become is amazing. And I thank God for your life. And that shows the kind of grace that you carry. It is too much. God richly bless you. And I want to say, um, use this opportunity to say a big thank you for investing hugely into the life of my brother. God bless you. And not only my brother. All the other people that were associated with me, you know, Reverend um, um, Patrick, his wife, Gifty, and all the other amazing people. God richly bless you for raising them. God bless you. Come on, put the hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And today, he's standing here ministering to us and being a blessing. What a blessing. I could feel real fire coming from heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, in this church, every man of God that comes here, we receive them as angels. Oh, yes. No matter whatever the man of God we receive. So we want you to know that you are received as an angel. Amen. You are sent to come and deliver a word. And you have delivered it, and we are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. And we can go home. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a blessing. Amen. How many of you will want to receive more ministration from this great man of God? Amen. Now, take your prayer card. Take your prayer. If you don't have a prayer card, all the ushers, make sure that somebody have a prayer. Hallelujah. And we will be concluding very soon. And man of God... Yeah, I have not seen any man of God that is very prompt in his time like that. Hallelujah. Wow. He didn't even go one minute beyond that. I said, wow. I pray for the same grace. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, after church, I need to tap your shoulder for grace. Amen. Because there are some people, they carry certain grace. And if you don't have it, you don't have it. Uh, uh, amen. Wow. If you have taken it, can, come on. Kindly stand on your feet. Kindly stand on your feet. In the name of Jesus. Did you bring your oil? Heaven will bless you. Amen. Heaven will open. Whilst the man of God was ministering, I saw the heavens. And the heavens have formed clouds. And there was a face in the cloud. And the face was smiling or laughing. The face was smiling or laughing. It was no long that the man of God said that he heard seven trumpets. And the Lord is announcing. Amen. I want you to know that heaven has opened for somebody. Amen. Heaven has opened for somebody here. Amen. Yes. In this fasting and prayer, as you are going to work, some of you, you are coming straight from work. But I want you to know, your labor will not be in vain. Amen. God is looking at it as a sacrifice. Amen. The man of God spoke to you about the power of sacrifice. The Lord is seeing it as a sacrifice. Heaven will answer you. 
Amen. You are bringing the prayer. Lift it up. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My heavens open. My heavens open. For manifestation. For manifestation. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. Answer me. Answer me. Let everything, Let everything written, written on this prayer card, this prayer card become, become reality. reality. Manifest. Manifest. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray to God. Begin to pray to God. Personal supplication. Pray to God. Come on, put it. Pray, 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 pray. Put some prayer into it. Kaladaba, 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 Rabadaba, Radadaba, 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 Pray, speak it now, speak it now. In the name of Jesus. Now, this is what the Lord said to me anoint your prayer card. Anoint your thumb. Lift your oil first. Father, I decree and declare every oil that is here. I declare the power of God. Jesus. The anointing of God. This is not just a normal oil. But I declare that this is the power of God Amen. for manifestation to everyone that do this direction. In the name of Jesus. Now anoint your thumb. Anoint your farm. Hallelujah. And then anoint your prayer card. And as you are anointing, speak to God. Speak to God. This is your personal supplication. Talk to God about it. Change, change, change. Do my thing. Do my thing for me. Talk to God about it. 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 He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Talk to God about it. Speak to God about it. Speak to God about it. This is your time with God. Anoint it with the oil. Anoint it with the oil and talk to God about it. This is your personal supplication. Heaven is answering you. Heaven is answering you in the name of Jesus. Now, the third thing you are doing, put the paper card or the, the, the prayer card down and step on it. If you need a space, you can get a space. There's a huge space in the place. Stand on it. And I want you to declare as you are standing on this. May it become reality. You are possessing this prayers, prayer request. Whatever you have prayed, whatever you have asked God, it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. As you stand on this prayer request, talk to God about it. Talk to God about it. Rabba Katayala. Speak to God. Speak to God. Mention the thing. Come on, pour your heart. Pour your heart. Lebolosa. 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 Rega de lebelesa. Rega de lebelesa. Lesa lebelesa. Roba la davalo. Rebele lebele. 
Let there be a manifestation, Lord. Let there be a manifestation, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you will pick the paper, and as you pick the paper, you are telling God, I pick my prayer answers. I pick my prayer answers. I pick my destiny. I pick my manifestation. I pick it in the name of Jesus. I pick it in the name of Jesus. I pick it in the name of Jesus. La barada da ba la ba la ba. Zebra da la ba 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 ba. Le barada la. What is what is ibom ibom? Is anything called ibom? Ibom 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 ibom. What is that? Is it eh? Kalabashiana. It's a tribe in Nigeria. Jalabakatoyana. Maragadabayaba. Sipragadaba. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Lord is setting someone free. Somebody, you are here. Your time has come. Amen. I say, Your time has come. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. La baragadabaya. Ushers direct the people to come. Come with your prayer, the prayer card, and your oil in your hand. Come with your prayer card and your oil in your hand. Quickly for me. La baragadabaya. Come with your prayer card and your oil in your hand. In the name of Jesus. La baragadabaya. Lim prosede libedia. In the name of Jesus. Yabalababa. It is answered. It is answered. In the name of Jesus. It is answered. It is answered. In the name of Jesus. It is answered. It is answered. It is answered. In the name of Jesus. It is answered. It is answered. In the name of Jesus. It is answered. In the name of Jesus. Come on. It is answered. 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 The Lord answer. The Lord answer. The Lord answer. It is answer. Call that lady for me. He alone is worthy. It is answered. Stand here. Come and stand here. It is answered in the name of Jesus. It is answered. It is answered in Jesus' name. It is answered in Jesus' name. Yes, it is answered. It is answered for you. 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 Yes. It is answered. It is answered for you. The Lord of answer. The Lord of answer. Take it. It is answered. It is answered. It is answered. Is answered. Yes. It is answered for you. It is answered for you. In the name of Jesus. It is answered. Yes, receive the answer. The Lord have answered you. Yes. Your prayer is answered. It is answered. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey. It is answered for you. It is answered for you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Call the woman. 
It is answered for you. It is answered for you. It is answered. Yes. It is answered. Yes. It is answered. Yes. It is answered. It is answered. Karaba ba 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 Saragada la ba. Le karada la ba. It is answered. 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 La ba ba ra ga da la ba 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 ra ga da la ba ra ga da la ba la. It is answered. Tell it. It is answered. It is answered. Take it. 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 Rapa ra ga da la ba 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 ba. It is answered. Take it. It is answered. Take it. It is answered. Take it. Take it now. It is answered. It is answered. Take it. Let them pass it. Answer. Take it in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. Take it. It is answered. Yes. In the name of Jesus. It is answered. Receive it. Yes. Lion of Judah. It is answered. The Lord answer you. Your prayer is answered. It is answered. It is answered. It is answered. Receive it now. Ragada la ba la ba la da da la ba. It is answered. Receive answer. You see you are. It is answered. It is answered. It is answered. It is answered in the name of Jesus. Take the answer. Receive it. Yes. Your prayer is answered. Your prayer is answered. Take it. Your prayer is answered in the name of Jesus. Your prayer is answered. Your prayer is answered. Receive answer in the name of Jesus. Akunete. I don't know you. Receive answer. Hey ya ya, hey ya ya, hey ya ya, hey ya ya, hey ya ya. It is answer. Hey ya ya, come on. Rapa la 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 la. Take answers. Take answers. Take answers. Take answers. Rokara la la la. Receive answers. The Lord will help you. Receive help from above. Receive help from above. It is answered. Take it. Receive help from above. Take it. Yes. Hey ya, hey ya. Receive answers. Take it. Take it. Receive answers. Take it. Take answers. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive answers. Oh, you are being bigger than the receive answers. Receive answers. Receive answers. Receive answers. Receive answers. Receive manifestation. Receive manifestation. Receive manifestation. Receive manifestation. Take it. Receive manifestation. Take it. 
stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than a. Receive manifestation. Receive manifestation. Receive manifestation. Jesus. Receive manifestation. Receive manifestation. Receive. May the Lord answer you. Heaven answer you. Jesus. Heaven answer you. May the Lord 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 answer you. Receive answers. Receive answers. Come quickly. Receive answers. Yes. Receive. Be quick. Be quick. Receive answers. Receive answers. Receive answers. Manifestation. Receive manifestation. Receive manifestation. Receive answers. In the name of Jesus. Is that all? Those of you on this, stand up. Lay back. Stand and come and stand here. Your heaven is open. Your heaven is open. Amen. Your heaven is open. Amen. The oil that I have touched for you. Prophesy. When you get home, anoint yourself with it before you go to bed or bath with it. Amen. Pour it in a bucket or pour a little in a bucket of water and bath with it. The whole of next week, we are going to do something with that oil. Amen. Make sure that oil, I touch it. Everybody that came forward, I have touched you, I have touched your oil. Jesus. And I have touched your prayer request. Say yes, the Lord, not a man. Anyone came here. Heaven have answered your prayer. Amen. You believe it, it happened for you. I receive it. The Lord opened my eye. Professor. And I saw in the realm of the spirit a room. And whilst the prayer was going on, the man of God was leading the prayer. I saw smoke coming out of a room. Professor. Smoke coming out of a room. The Lord said to me, when you call the people and you pray for them, I will point to you those that they were in that room. Professor. As I called the people and they came forward, anyone that came forward and I, I told you to stand here, the angel told me, he said, this one was in the room. Amen. This one was in the room. The Lord said that all of you, there is an altar fighting against you. Professor. And as you are doing this for this 21 days of fasting, there is a smoke coming out. Something is burning. Professor. Something is breaking. Jesus. The Lord said by the end of this fasting, an altar, a shrine, a power shall break out of your life. Amen. And the Lord says that you will have your deliverance and your breakthrough. Jesus. Shalabakataya. Yes, Lord. Limolo Sikataya. The Lord is whispering into my ears. There are some people here. You know, you've been going through some problems with your career. The Lord says it is over in the name of Jesus. Amen. That demon that is after your career, Jesus. it is over in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is somebody here, you have been having some pain in your throat. Run to me right now. You've been having pain in your throat, like a, a throat, pain in your throat. Pain in your throat. Pain in your throat. Kala Babasha. Lee Kala Baba. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Father, deliver that person. Amen. Anything that is not from God. Jesus. Break. Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Amen. Break in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Break and go. Jesus. Break and go. Yes. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sharabakotole Yandalaba. Yes. Break and go. I command it. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your hand. If you are here, you've been facing delays in your career. The Lord deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are free. Touch. Jesus. You are free. Touch. Jesus. You are free. Touch. Amen. You are free. Touch in the name of Jesus. Professor, Papa. This is not your head. This Professor. is not your head. Professor. This head is another woman's head mm. you are carrying. Professor. 
It's another woman's head Jesus. you are carrying. Another woman's head. This is not your head. Wherever they have exchanged your head to, Prophesy. in the name of Jesus, yes, may your head return back to you. Amen. May your head return back to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I switch it right now. Yes, Lord. Is that your first time here? This is not your head. Prophesy. This is not you. This is not you. The person I'm seeing physically is different from the person I'm seeing spiritually. The Lord says that whoever has switched and they have put their problem on you Prophesy. and you are carrying their problem. Prophesy. Whoever has exchanged what is yours and I've taken it. Jesus. Fire against them. Amen. Fire against them. Amen. Fire against them. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Fire against them. Fire against them. Pray. I pray for you. Your destiny and your career is restored. It is over. Somebody shall fire. Somebody shall fire. Sit down. Take your offering quickly. The time is up. Those of you who are watching online, I prophesy. And I speak to you right now. Those of you watching overseas, I touch your prayer request. I anoint your oil. And I declare, receive answers right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Quickly take your offering. Mazi Mahanda Labakataya. Leva Barakatun Handele. The spirit. I release it for you. Kosima Nama. Leva Mana. Mariana. Monsignana. Lavanimana. Take a good offering. Take an offering. Take an offering. Take an offering. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. My God. Take an offering. I curse every evil spirit out of your life. Amen. Go. Be free. Be free. Sin brendele berebe. By the end of February, uh, April. The Lord said, you, you will hear good news. Amen. Say yes, the Lord. Are you taking the good offering? Ah. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Somebody said, this 21 days fasting is for me. This 21 days the, fasting the man of God me. is so right. He, he said, sometimes God will call a fasting just for only one person. Somebody say, I'm that one person. I'm that one person. Let me tell you. <laughs> Sometimes God can call a holy fast. And it is one person God is looking. Eesh. I will not miss this one. This 21 days is for somebody. It's for a generational turnaround. Is he ready? Take a good offering. When I say a good offering, I mean a good offering. Amen. There is a different ways to give. You can give by bank transfer, by card. The card system is there. The finance team is there. You can also transfer online. You can scan the code and do it to the glory of God. Hallelujah. If you have cash, put your offering in the card. Yes, cash. Do it nicely and bring it to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, I want you to do it with excitement. Father, we thank you for this offering. Bless everybody giving. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare amen. Come on, amen. Rise to your feet and let's give the offering in a wonderful way. Hallelujah. Give the offering in a wonderful way. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, come on. You are high and lifted up. There is no one like you. Ushers, where is the offering? Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are higher. You, you are higher, and lifted up. There is no Go around, take like the offering. You. Hallelujah. 
There is no one like you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are higher. You are higher, lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, amen. Come on, give your offering. Give your offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. High and lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give your offering to the Lord. Prophetic seed. Prophetic seed. You are here with a prophetic seed. Any form of giving, tight. Anyone with tight, God bless you. Anyone with tight, God bless you. Somebody take a seed in your hand and come and drop it in front of. You. Yes, take something in your hand. Yes, there is a fire here. There is a fire. There is a fire. There is a fire. Drop it here. Drop it here. Drop it here. First of all, let me pray for the tithe. Let me pray for the tithe. Tithe, come. Receive the blessings on the tithe. May the Lord prosper this tithe and open great door in Jesus' mighty name. Tithe, receive the blessings on the tithe. Your hand will prosper. Receive. Everybody take some cash in your hand. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, anything. Is it tight? Prophetic seed. Come and drop it. Anything in your hand. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Ah. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. I drop it in the fire. Oh, yes. Heaven answer you. Receive. 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 Somebody take it and come. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Rise to your feet, everybody. Receive the blessing. Take something and come. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Come on. Receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Saw it. Saw it. Take something and can receive it. Receive it. Receive it. There is a fire working here. There is a power working here. Come on. Receive it now. Receive it. Lift your hand. Four people, your flight is taking off tonight.